the greatest American alive. Why did she assassinate my unborn child? Because she ain't like me that much. We can have all these conversations in America about emotional responsibility, financial responsibility, compatibility, all these things. They don't matter that much if the woman likes you a whole lot. That's a whole lot of power for a woman to have over the American man. Tell the truth, yes? For every man who says a pregnancy is a woman's issue, you are a liar at best. You are a coward for some cat. Tell the truth and get some power. You are a coward for some cat. You will sell yourself out to get a little piece of cat. You will sell out every male on the planet just so you can get a piece of cat. You will allow someone to assassinate your unborn child just so that you can get a piece of cat. You desperate little pathetic peon. Ooh, you nasty. No one likes a man who ain't got no masculinity. Masculinity could change the world. There's no such thing as toxic masculinity. When, it, when, when hard things happen, strong people got to fight back. But if you ain't no strong person, you can't fight back. If we go based on the definition, I am a feminist because I believe in equality. Equality. Equality cannot mean that you have an advantage. That's not equality, you crazy person. If I'm fighting for equality. You can't have power over my life. For every person in America who's running around talking about the assassination of children is they God-given right is an absolute liar. You understand? You are a miracle. Every time you conceive, it's a miracle. Project Daddy, why are you talking about the conception of unborn people? Because they matter. Without procreation, we wouldn't have a plan to tell the truth and get some power. And for some reason, you think that you're going to go against nature because of your feelings, because of your thoughts, because of your feelings and your thoughts. You think that you can go against God, tell the truth and get some power. We ain't playing these games. If we enter into a negotiation to have a sexual encounter, then whatever comes from this sexual encounter is a two person conversation. You cannot make a decision unilaterally. That's not equality. That's not feminism. That's some toxic ideology that's permeating the American culture. It's destroying America. And strong men have to fight back against toxic ideas. Tell the truth and get some power. I want to be powerful in America. I cannot be powerful if you have the right to assassinate my unborn children. If you like me, you're going to have my baby. If you don't like me, you might assassinate my baby. Tell the truth and get some power. Welcome to the, welcome to the church of freedom, yes? Welcome to the church of sexual liberation if we're going to have an honest conversation about sexual encounters in america then we have to have equality when it comes to doing this thing if i'm gonna throw the wang tang you can't hold my wang tang against me just because you got a vajayjay she said because she got a vajayjay the gina that she can control me you can't control me these women can't hold me back these women can't hold me back no why did that person assassinate my unborn child because she ain't like me because legislation told her that she had the power and control over my body. If she likes me a lot, then she'll have my child and then tell me I got to be financially uh, responsible for 18 years. 18 years? <laughs> That's a long time to hold a person hostage, ain't it? It's hot in here, man. It almost feels like I'm living down there with Satan. That's why it's so hot in here. I'm surrounded by murderers and they want to walk around like it's okay. They say 25% of the American woman population will commit a murder in their life. Oh my God. God, don't you dare say that I'm a murderer. I ain't no murderer. Then what are you then? What are you then? You're stopping life, huh? Tell the truth. Yes, you're stopping life, ain't you? you you're taking my baby away from me, ain't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. For every man in America who says that this is a woman's issue, you are a coward at best. Everybody in America despises a person who is a coward for some cat. I ain't no coward for no cat. Boy, I got three kids. You hear me? Man, pussy don't control me. I control pussy. You understand me? <laughs> they say, why would you possibly say something like that? that because me as the author of my life i control my experiences don't nobody else control my experiences and for you for every american person on the planet you control your experiences but me controlling my experience don't give me the right to control your experience you hear me so if you want to decide to have my child then you better come in and have a conversation with me say hey project daddy i like you a lot i would like to have your baby and i'm gonna tell you the truth huh i'm gonna look you dead in your eyes and say listen i don't like you that much and no you cannot have project daddy jr that's a blessing Lesson, huh? Woo! That's power. I don't need collective power when it comes to my individual decisions. I have I have no need for a government when it comes to my sex life. I get to pick and choose who I have sex with, where I have sex at, how I do it, when I do it, how fast I do it, how hard I do it. I make these decisions. You and I, my beautiful queen, if we decide to have a prince or a princess, then you and I should make that decision. You cannot assassinate my child, but if you like me, you can hold me hostage for 18 years. Say, come here, Project Daddy B my slave for 18 years. I'm going to 
force you to take care of a child that you don't want. That's the American government. So when we talk about my body, my choice, it has to be universal. Ooh, I mean, I had dudes tell me, I had grown ass men come and tell me, well, you shouldn't have had sex. Didn't that woman have sex also? And then not only did she have sex, but she has legislation to run down to somewhere and have that good old assassination. We ain't just going to keep running around and assassinating unborn people and act like that's natural. It's not natural. It's getting hot in here. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. And then once I take my clothes off, I, I could be a prisoner for 18 years. I need better legislation to save the American man. You hear me? The American men have to stand up in solidarity and say, hey, we are one dick. <laughs> Penis power. <laughs> it's, it's extremely hot in here. I'm standing next to all these evil devils as they assassinate these beautiful American unborn people. We stopping procreation in our nation that we're going to talk about. It's a it's a right. <laughs> you got the right to take your ass straight to hell. <laughs> Most of the time, I would get scared of these big lights and having me sweating like this. I don't give a damn. I'm going to stand in the kitchen and cook. Chef Project Daddy cooking you sorry motherfuckers who want to lie and assassinate people. I'm not playing these games. I'm going to fight for some power. I'm going to tell the American man, fight for some power. Stop being a coward and a cuck for some cat. You have a backbone. You have a spine. And most importantly, you have muscles and a ding a -ling. Muscles and a ding a -ling. You better see that thing swing, man. We come in here swinging for the fences. We hitting home runs when it comes to human rights. We hitting home runs when it comes for equality. We're not going to stand back and be second class citizens for the rest of our lives. 10 million American men are financial slaves, debt slaves, peons to their own spawn. And we're not going to take it. And we're not going to take it. The greatest American alive, motherfucker. You are the greatest American alive. Yes. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.